Hello Scorpio, happy Sunday to you. I hope you are relaxing today. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're gonna ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're gonna ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Scorpio. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. For the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in the life. Oh, this one wants to be extra, very important. What's coming up for Scorpio in the life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Scorpio in the life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? You're not taking action towards your soulmate at this time. Yeah, you want to, but you're stopping yourself. <clears throat> you're waiting to see if they're going to come forward. The person is wondering uh, how long you're going to be silent, quiet. So for this reading is for those of you Scorpios that are not reaching out to your soulmate, even though you feel like you need to clear the air with them about you purposely not reaching out, not taking action. The person you're dealing with is checking up on you. They feel um, very romantic towards you. They love you. But what concerns me is that they're showing up only as a knight, while you're showing up as a king, mature energy. Whether you're male or female, you're showing up as king, someone mature in relationships, they're not showing up as, as mature, as consistent in someone's life. This person has tendency of uh, being a Romeo, coming and going, um, not really committing, not telling you where you stand. Yeah. Oh, you're very disappointed, to say the least, but you hide it really well. Yeah. They're not aware how hurt you feel they're not aware no this is you feeling heartbroken this is you feeling unloved unappreciated you feel like you're wasting your time yeah let's see universe please show us what's coming up for scorpio in their life and how is scorpio currently doing on their summit journey what's coming up for scorpio in their life and how is scorpio currently doing You really want to take action, but you're stopping yourself because you feel they need to prove themselves to you. New love offer showing up for you from someone else. Hmm, somebody new. Mm -hmm. Wow, you miss this person. You love this person, but you feel you're not on the same page in this relationship. Yeah. You're tired of babysitting a relationship. Yeah, you're tired of it. You feel drained. This person is missing you a lot. Yeah. Wow, your energy is beautiful. So something good showing up here for you with your job or business. This is you taking proper steps, bringing profit in, making wise financial decisions for yourself. Beautiful. You are very independent. Yeah, you are. You don't need anyone to support you financially or emotionally. You're very independent. Yeah, you see, you have valid reasons to feel this way. The devil is showing up here. So this relationship drained you, became toxic for some reason, and you turned off by the behavior towards you. The devil is showing up here. Yeah. Yeah, this is how you view them based on the behavior towards you. In and out of your life, not communicating effectively, not expressing emotions. They are spying on you. They are spying on you through videos like this, private reading, social media, any way they can to see what you're up to. Because they realize your behavior has changed towards them. You want to see some justice. You're tired. Yeah. You've been through a lot of betrayal in your life.
This person wants to communicate with you so badly. Hmm. This is interesting because this combination shows some kind of judicial proceedings. So some of you may be married to this person or living with them. Uh, where you considering, if that's the case for you, you will be considering either a divorce, legal separation, division of assets, alimony, child support, or any of the uh, ones that I just mentioned, or maybe even all of them for some of you. Yeah, this is you considering uh, if you are uh, in need of uh, that kind of uh, judicial assistance where you need to go through the courts, yeah, whether it's divorce or child support, yeah. <sighs> There's somebody else in your life that's draining you, most likely a family member, young, younger than you. Or if they're not younger than you, if they're close to your age, they act very immaturely. And you're tired. You're tired of being drained by that person. Yeah, the first person that comes to your mind in your family. Mm -hmm. We all have them, right? We just have to have healthy boundaries, not allow toxic relatives to drain us, manipulate us, use us, right? Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in the life and how is Scorpio currently doing? Look how powerful you are, Scorpio. Queen of Wands, Queen of Action. Yeah, be careful what you wish for because you're going to get it. Concentrate on positive things because what we think of the most, we attract, right, into our life, including people, right? You worry too much. Yeah, you overanalyze too much. We all do it. So don't be hard on yourself. We all overdo it, especially when we go through something traumatic emotionally. This is you worrying too much. You love the person still. You still love the person, but you feel it's going nowhere. That, that relationship is going nowhere because of how they act in your life, how they behave, how they communicate or don't communicate. Let's see what's going on with that person. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio that Scorpio is letting go of at this time. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio, especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of scorpio at this time this one oh this one over here looking at me very strongly as extra message yeah they have very hard time expressing emotions committing communicating admitting to their mistakes apologizing yeah uh, they pretend to be an emperor mm -hmm, but they are a page of swords and knight of cups um they have a lot of pride they like to um be alpha they like to be in control but the good thing is because of the way it's painted and because it's showing up in position one shows me that the clay uh is falling off of their eyes which means that thanks to you and thanks to you not taking action right now they see things more clearly they realize that they can't possibly uh, continue behaving the same way, thinking you're going to come back to them. Yeah, this person realizes important truths about their life, how they relate to other people, how they communicate, how they commit. Oh, this person can be very much set in their ways. Mm -hmm. They can be very much ego-driven when they want something their way. They miss you like crazy. This is them missing you, reminiscing of you, feeling sad, empty without you. Yeah, they're feeling what you're feeling. They feel very sad. So there's definitely a need for communication, face-to-face -face communication, <clears throat> to find some kind of peaceful resolution here. They're trying to look at everything objectively that has transpired between you two to make wise decisions. They're waiting patiently for the right time, yeah, whether it's to hear from you or to reach out to you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio that Scorpio is letting go of. You don't know how badly they hope to reconcile with you. Yeah, to find peaceful resolution. This person wants to see you so badly, so they do love you. Yeah, they do. 
Yeah, they're going through a lot of emotional highs and lows, very scared of your reaction, rejection, judgment. This person is determined to reappear in your life, even though they're scared you're going to reject them. They view you as very intuitive, which you are, wise, perceptive, analytical. Yeah, this person needs to learn how to communicate their feelings and their intentions and plans. Universe, please show us. They are secretive, so there's something you're not aware of that they're holding back. Maybe they're trying to protect you emotionally, or maybe they're ashamed, but there's something they're not telling you. Hmm, it's like they they can be very secretive. Universe, please show us. Hmm. A lot of you are letting go of Taurus, Cancer, and Virgo. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio and Aries. Yeah, magician showing up here. This person really wants to prove themselves to you to reconcile. Look how much they miss you. Look at this. Look how much they miss you. Feeling sad, empty without you, alone. They have so much respect for you. They view you as my favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles. They view you as someone solid, stable, marriage material, independent, not chasing them. <sighs> Be careful, Scorpio, because there are some people in your surroundings that know you and this person that are into gossip, that are gossiping about this relationship, that are trying to put their 15 cents in. What's going on between you and your soulmate is between you and your soulmate. Be careful who you trust with your personal information. This person doesn't want to fight or argue. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see what's going on here, Scorpio. Let me see. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. Yeah, you see, this person is trying to find something out about you or about your current state of mind or plans from other people. It's like they're trying to fish around to see if they can find out, but that's not the way to handle uh, this situation correctly. They need to uh, reach out to you and ask to talk to you face to face to resolve issues. That's the only way to resolve issues successfully have better understanding, especially after breakups, fights, disagreements, arguments, face-to-face -face communication, direct communication, right? New person entering your life. Yeah. They want to be brave enough to approach you. The soulmate you're letting go of. Wow. The person you're letting go of is in love with you, but they need to express it, show it, verbalize it. They're trying to figure out do you miss them? Do you love them still? They're concerned. Wow. New soulmate entering your life. Someone who is grounded. Someone who is stable. Remember, Scorpio, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with. Who is best suitable for you. We decide that through our free will actions, right? Yeah. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as Knight of Pentacles. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what are they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the Knight of Pentacles energy in your chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.